From skinning an animal to learning ballet, sometimes actors pick up roles that demand just a little more from them, like learning new skills just to immerse themselves in their characters. First up, we have an actor who's known for doing all his stunts, the legendary Tom Cruise. The Top Gun Maverick star loves pushing himself to the limit. I mean, I think in terms of action, this is probably the largest practical action film ever shot. Like, when you look at the films, there's no CGI, so we're going through Paris, the motorcycle, it's just full on. He thinks of the world as his gym. For Mission Impossible Fallout, Tom learned to fly a helicopter. The movie required an amazing helicopter action scene. For this, the actor spent more than 2,000 hours with his stunt coordinator in helicopter training and stunt training. That's how he managed to become an expert flyer and deliver the insane finale where he's hanging out of the helicopter. I guess the skill would be handy again if he's ever on a helicopter chase. The next actor on this list learned an essential life skill with his role hunting his food. Daniel Day-Lewis, arguably the most talented actor in cinema history, he lived as a survivalist in the 1992 movie The Last of the Mohicans. Daniel is super strict with method acting and so he learned how to track, hunt, and skin animals to bring the role to life. In addition to those skills, he learned how to build canoes, fire, and reload a 12-pound flintlock on the run and also trained with tomahawks. So, if he's ever stuck in the wild, I'm sure he'll make it out alive since he can skin animals and prepare meals to survive. The next actress also learned how to skin an animal, Jennifer Lawrence. The 32-year-old actress learned how to chop wood and skin a squirrel for the 2010 drama film Winter's Bone. She cut that squirrel herself, by the way. After doing that, she couldn't eat spaghetti for a long time. She was so dedicated to the role that she even carried an empty shotgun everywhere to stay in character. It became her breakout role as she also got an Oscar nomination for it. The next actor on this list won his first Oscar with a role where he survived in extreme weather conditions, while also learning an indigenous language, Leonardo DiCaprio. The Revenant earned Leo his first Oscar. You know, how are we going to persevere? What are we going to do day to day? And you just kind of rely on instinct as an actor and all that stuff, all that preparation, all the things you've thought about sort of dissolve away. But his draining role saw him learn ancient healing techniques, building fires, and how to shoot muskets. Anyway, the most impressive skill has to be learning the Arakara language. The actor had to communicate with the indigenous Arakara people in the movie. For that, an indigenous cultural consultant gave the lead actor and cast members lessons on the language. It's only spoken by remaining elders in North Dakota, so I think it's pretty cool that the cast knows how to speak it. Some learn a language, some learn ballet. That leads us to the next actor who trained for hours for her role as a ballet dancer. You guessed it right, Natalie Portman. The 2010 thriller film Black Swan saw the actress play ballet dancer Nina Sayers. She trained every day for about five hours while she was still working on other projects. She did have prior dance training experience and also a stunt double. But but still, the actress felt like she didn't do enough. The 41-year-old actress confessed to the New York Times that she didn't know what she was doing. But it seems like she did because the role gave her a well-deserved Oscar for Best Performance. Next, we have an actor who learned another art, and he shut the world out to master it, Adrian Brody. The 49-year-old actor rose to stardom and gained international recognition thanks to his role in Roman Polanski's The Pianist. He landed the lead role portraying a Polish-Jewish pianist who plays on Warsaw Radio, so of course he had to learn the skill. Half the people are wasted by the time you get up, and you got two seconds, they've written something for you to say, and then you might think it's funny, or the, the writer thinks it's funny. Adrian practiced the Chopin pieces included in the film for several hours daily. He wanted to make sure that he could play the piece on his own in the film. He went a little too far with method acting for this role. And when the movie was released in 2002, he told BBC that he moved places for the role and went totally off the grid. He gave up his apartment and sold his car just for a movie. And on top of that, he disconnected his phone so nobody could reach out to him. He packed two bags and his keyboard and moved to Europe. His intense dedication to the role interfered with his personal life, like his girlfriend broke up with him. But the phenomenal actor's efforts paid off, though, because he was the youngest actor at 29 years old to earn an Academy Award for Best Actor in a Lead Role. Wow, it must feel amazing to win a major award after picking up a new skill. This is something the next star on this list can relate to, Mahershala Ali. The Moonlight star took home two major accolades for his role as real life jazz pianist Dr. Don Shirley in Green Book. But uh, a good friend at the time, we didn't have enough kids for our heat and Robin came and raced with the boys. 
And I remember looking at Robin like, uh, okay, <laughs> good luck, don't take this personal. The Peter Ferrelli directed movie was based on the pianist embarking on a tour of venues through the South, and the actor won an Oscar and a Golden Globe for Best Supporting Actor. But it wasn't such an easy job. Behind the cameras, Mahershala submerged himself in the role by training at the piano for three months. He did this with the help of Chris Bowers, the composer of the film's score. The 33-year-old composer spoke to Backstage, where he admired the actor's attention to his work. He said that it was incredible to see his focus and dedication. He recalled that he decided to start with the basics for their first lesson, like giving him a major scale to learn. They were supposed to practice for just an hour, but it turned into three hours of the duo playing the C major over and over again. I can't even imagine being so dedicated to learning a new skill. But when you're given the huge responsibility of honoring legendary figures, you make sure you perfect their skills. Like the next actor on this list, he learned the violin just to accurately portray one of the greatest and most loved silent movie stars. Robert Downey Jr. The Hollywood star landed the role of Charlie Chaplin for the 1992 remarkable biopic on the Tramp actor. Chaplin carried his violin everywhere he could. It was one of the many special things about him which made him stand out. He was also passionate about playing tennis. So, Robert learned how to play the violin and a bit of tennis for the role. The violin is unquestionably one of the most difficult instruments to learn. And if you were a huge fan of Chaplin, you might have observed that he was left-handed. The Iron Man star had to master the skills with his left hand. His role earned him an Oscar nod. Talk about a double challenge. Next, we have two Hollywood A-listers who learned instruments for their lead roles, Joaquin Phoenix and Reese Witherspoon. These two secured the roles of Johnny Cash and June Carter for Walk the Line. To stay true to the characters, the stars learned their respective instruments. Joaquin took guitar lessons. He even purchased a guitar and attempted songwriting so he could see what it was like to construct a verse, a melody, and all that. As for Reese, she had to learn the auto harp. She approached Catherine O'Hara's auto harp teacher who helped the actor with a mighty win. The two had to sing on screen, something which both of them were terrified of. But after working with famous celeb vocal coach Roger Love, they went on to sing all the featured vocal performances in the movie. They both earned Academy Awards for their roles. It seems that hard work and dedication to their roles was what got these actors an Oscar win or a nod, at least. That's all for today, guys. See you in the next one. I know I can't be free